Hey, what's up, folks? This is HighLife128 bringing you another shoe review. Uh, this is something that's um, been in my closet there for a little while. Um, haven't gotten anything new uh, in the past few days. Last new thing I got was the Packer Reebok uh, collab. I remember the Alamos, which were just crazy. And, you know, after looking up my collection and looking at those, uh, I can hands down say those are. <coughs> The, my favorite shoe of 2013 so far, um, based on what I've purchased, based on what I've passed on. So uh, I'm really glad I was able to get those. This is something that, again, been in my closet for probably six, seven months, and I have a few pairs of this style of shoe that I haven't showed you guys yet. Um, but since I'm kind of running out of stuff that's in my closet and. Uh, while I'm waiting for my next uh, shoe to get in, should be here Wednesday or Thursday. FedEx keeps pushing back the delivery date. If you if you ever get anything delivered, go UPS, not USPS, the post office, not FedEx, UPS. Okay, they will always be on time, and half the time they're a day early. Go UPS. You heard it here. So this shoe I picked up. Uh, I think they were $75 at Nike Town Boston, again, about six months ago. Um, it's one of my favorite styles of shoe. That's why I have a bunch of them. I have three, four pairs. Um, it's a classic shoe. Reebok, or, um, Reebok. Nike Sportswear Box. I have Reebok on the mind now. Classic box. Tag Air Max 90s, size 10 and a half, neutral gray, white, mid, FG, and then total orange, I believe. I don't know what mid FG is. Let me know. Uh, um, retail price was 100 bucks, but uh, as you can see, yeah, these are seventy nine ninety seven, so that's what I paid for them, and that was at the end. Uh, it was marked at the end of last year. Um, this is the sticker that Nike Town puts on their boxes, and they have this conveyor belt. What they do is you pick the shoe off the shelf, the employee scans it, and then somebody up in the sh uh, stock room puts it on the conveyor belt, ships it down, you try it on. So let's get into these Air Maxes. It's about most current ones. You know, actually, the only one I still have a box for. Um, they're still in pretty good shape. Don't really know what the colorway on these would be. Maybe total orange. It's probably the most standout color name. I doubt there was an actual name name for them. They're pretty, pretty basic. I just like them because they're kind of discreet. Kind of wear them with anything. As the name suggests, real neutral colors, neutral gray. Um, orange just really goes with anything. So, um, classic Air Max 90 outsole. A little squiggly up through with your waffle tread. It's a real deep tread. I'm sure a lot of you guys have worn Air Max 90s before, but they're almost like turf shoes. Um, and the midsole, you have your air pocket, or air bubble there in total orange with um, gray surrounding it, it's kind of gray ridges. Uh, then you have white wrapping around the back and through the rest of the midsole up to the front where the outsole creeps up. Um, the upper of the shoe is mostly smooth leather. Um, this gray piece of leather here on uh, that, that wraps around on Air Max 90s is typically um, tumbled leather, and it is tumbled on here. Pretty decent quality. Um, they usually don't slack on the Air Max 90s, which is interesting because. For the price, I mean, it's a hundred bucks versus you know two hundred dollar pair of Jordans, and you know the quality on these is you know 
a 90 or a 9 out of 10, and the Jordan's like a 6 out of 10. So it's just kind of interesting how Nike does things. Um, you have your white Nike logo on both sides, smooth leather, and then this kind of obsidian colored leather wraps around the front of the toe box and around the side of the shoe that's in smooth leather as well. Um, then you have your cloth sort of canvas material on, on the toe box um, with some more smooth leather wrapping around the bottom of the laces with the eyelids in that total orange color but again in that ridge pattern that you see near the air bubble it's a nice feeling rubber uh, white laces and um, you have your tongue which is um, real plush uh, soft tongue uh, it's one of the things I like most about the shoes is, is the tongue and as you can see it's Nike Air Max with the original Nike logo great patch and the material in here is sort of like sort of like the material they find on the um, on the Air Jordan 5 grapes. It's the closest thing I can think of that's in my closet that I showed you before. And uh, that would make sense since the grapes came out in I believe 1990, so makes sense. Um, and then on both sides you have your little little plastic Air Max logo there in white with that dark obsidian color. Sock liner, as you can see, I have worn these quite a bit. Uh, it had a gray Nike logo in it, not more. Insole is white, sock liner is white. Uh, made at the uh, beginning of 2012. Uh, so yeah, that's um, that's pretty much it. These are pretty pretty standard shoe. So uh, I'm actually going to try to get to a couple more things in my closet tonight before uh, my surgery tomorrow, having all four of my wisdom teeth taken out. So even after I get my um, my newest shoe that I've been telling you about, uh, probably not going to be able to review it until this weekend or next week. So try to get a couple more things done tonight and uh, like, comment, subscribe. I recently reached uh, close to, I think, 3,500 views, got about 20 subscribers, so thank you guys very much, um, you're the reason I keep doing this, I really look forward to it when I get a pair of shoes, so um, thanks for making this happen, you guys, and uh, see you in uh, my next video.